Hey guys, what's up, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Um, if you are new, hey, hello, what's going on? My name is Megan and typically I do lifestyle and beauty related content. And today you guys can tell that I am doing a little bit of beauty today. Um, if you are not new though, and you are returning to my channel, thank you so much for coming back to another video. It's been a minute, but I am back and here we are. Um, I am going to be showing you guys my seven minute makeup routine. I think it's about seven minutes. I did talk through this tutorial with you guys while I was filming it. It did take me a little bit longer maybe like 10, 12 minutes or so, but I was talking through the entire thing. <laughs> if I'm looking to get really just out the door very quickly, whether I'm going to work, I'm um, just going to the grocery store, I'm going to the gym and I feel like getting a little bit glam, I normally don't because I don't recommend putting makeup on before the gym, but sometimes if you got places to go or you got somebody to impress, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I totally get that. This is gonna be great because I feel like this is a good medium, if not even full coverage look. And I did not use any liquid foundation. Yeah, this is a look that I'm gonna show you guys again. Quick little five to seven minute routine, bing, bang, boom. Before I dig into the video though, please do me a favor and just scroll past the screen just like a little bit, smash the thumbs up button. That actually means like click the thumbs up button. It really does help me as a small YouTuber to push my videos out there into the YouTube verse. Also, if you find yourself coming back to my channel quite frequently, please click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell right next to it if you want to be notified when I do post my videos. And without further ado guys, we are going to get into it. <laughs> hey guys, we're looking a little different right now. So we are going to be doing, I don't know what I'm calling this. I don't know. Obviously I haven't filmed the introduction, so I don't know what I'm titling this video, but we're going to do a very quick get ready with me. Not really get ready with me. We're just going to, we're just going to go for it because I only have a couple of minutes to get ready. And I wanted to show you guys what I've been doing when I'm quick in and out the door. Don't really feel like doing a whole full face of makeup. I mean, well, this is definitely still a full face of makeup, but it's a lot less coverage than what I would normally wear and it doesn't have any liquid foundation in it, but I am using a powder foundation. So just a little disclaimer there, five, maybe seven minutes. It's definitely a five minute routine when I'm like getting ready without talking to you guys, but because I'll be talking through this, I don't know how long it'll take. So the first thing I wanna talk about is prepping the skin because this is exceptionally, exceptionally, exceptionally important. Make sure you prep your skin and let it sink in for a plenty amount of time ahead of time. Um, the products that I typically use on my skin in the morning. So I always go in with my Behydra, my Drunk Elephant Behydra Serum first, and then I go in with my Inky List, the CoQ10 Serum or the Q10, I don't know which one it's actually called. The third product I go in with is newer to my channel. I've never discussed this, but it will be in a favorites video coming up very, very, very soon. It is the Embrolease um, Moisturizer, is whatever their daily day cream moisturizer is. I got that off of Amazon, it's like 20 bucks. A lot of YouTubers and a lot of makeup artists do talk about that product and I have sat on it for a very long time, but I started using it and I love it. Literally love it. So I've been using it every single day for the past couple of weeks. And I go in my Notorium eye cream. It's been about five minutes since I've been letting it sit on my skin. So we're gonna get into it. One thing I want to mention, I don't have any lights on. I literally, I'm just sitting in front of a window with my, what are these things called? Bounce boards on the side. They're just boards, white boards to bounce light off. So if I'm looking a little bit different is because I don't have my white box on because it's just, we're doing a little chill, get ready with me. And the first thing I need to do is something with these under eyes because your girl's got dark under eyes. I always have, and I have yet to get them filled. Um, I've never had filler in my under eyes before, but I've really been thinking about it recently because if you guys can tell, they are very, 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 very dark. To do that, I just go in with a touch of my Born This Way concealer. I am in the shade Shortbread and I go boop, boop, boop. Boop, boop, boop. If I gotta go up here a little bit, that's okay. And I'll spot conceal with this too, just very lightly. I did get my Dysport touched up yesterday, so I do have a couple of little spots there. Maybe around my nose. And just spot conceal. I mean, my skin's been doing really well recently, so I don't actually need to spot conceal too much. Um, knock on wood. Oh my gosh, where's their wood? Here. My skin's been doing really well. I, mean, I think it's just due to the skincare routine that I've been using. I go in with a beauty blender. This is completely dry. It is definitely very dirty. I should definitely clean this and moisturize it ahead of time, but I haven't. So we work with what we got sitting in front of us because we are in a rush. I go in and actually, you know what? No, scratch that, rewind. We're gonna go in with a little tiny brush and I, it's really up to you guys what you have, um, whatever you have use. Most of the time I do go with a beauty blender or a sponge. Earlier today before I went to the gym, cause I, I did go to the gym and then I showered and I took my makeup off so I'm having to redo it. Um, I went in with a little brush and I loved how it looked. And what I love about this routine is that, again, it takes me five, maybe seven minutes. Again, this video probably is gonna end up being like 10 to 15 minutes long, just cause I'm talking to you guys while doing it. Um, but I can get in and out very, very, very quickly. And it was sweat proof. I did take, I burned like 900 calories today at the gym. I did a full strength routine and then I took a cycle class 
which was a very, very, very intense cycle class where I burned 400 calories in literally like 45, 40 minutes, something like that. And I still have my makeup sitting on my face afterwards. It was insane. I had a couple of lines here, obviously from drip, from sweat dripping down my face, but that was about it. For the rest, I'll blend these out too, I guess. All right, now to set this down, I'm going to go in with my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Light Plus. This is definitely very light on me, but it's gonna be good to set everything down under my eyes. It'll give a little teeny, 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 tiny bit of coverage, but it's not gonna be too much. And I love this powder because it does, it's very lightweight and it's a quick to just boom, 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 big bang, boom. If you need to take it with you, you certainly can. This is not a powder foundation. It is just a powder. I normally put it over top of liquid foundation, but we're not doing that. Perfect. And my hair is a mess, guys, I'm sorry. Like I said, I took a cycle class and I didn't wash my hair because uh, my hair dryer broke and I have to go out and get a new one. The star of the show today, and I've had this literally forever, um, definitely a few years, and I'm hoping that it's still good because I've been using it, is going to be this guy. It is from Bare Minerals. This is their original foundation powder. It is the original foundation. I have mine, I actually have two shades. I have light 08 and then fairly medium 05. This is definitely more of a pinky undertone. This is a yellow undertone. This still is not gonna match my body right now because I am one day old fresh self tanner, um, but it's gonna do a good enough job. So I go like this, I put it in the tub. And like I said, I've had this sitting around for forever. I just haven't used it. I take a very densely packed foundation brush just a normal one like this. Uh, you guys, this is the Luxie 532 um, Round Top Blender blush, uh, Brush. I also have been using the e.l.f. Blender sp Brush, but I don't actually have the, the Bare Minerals brush that goes with it, so and this has been working. So I pick this up like this a pretty good amount. I then take the lid, I swirl it around, kind of just like what they tell you. I tap off the excess and I go to town with it. And I just go all over, one side at a time, just like I would with my liquid foundation. And you guys can tell it has pretty good coverage. I would say this is definitely like a light to medium coverage because it's, I mean, I went in pretty hand, um, heavy handed with it, but you can see it covered that freckle pretty well. And I love it because it gives such a natural shine to the skin, like that's one side done. That side's not, I mean, this portion's done, but I do have quite a bit left in here. I'm gonna go in, swirl it around tap off the extra and <coughs> let me just die really fast. Blend it all over. I am gonna take it down my neck in a minute, guys. I just haven't gotten there yet. I just think this is so pretty and I don't know why. I've had this for years and I just have never really used it, but I think that my skin has never looked better than it looks right now. Um, and I think it's because I got that microneedling done. I don't know if I talked about it much on my YouTube channel, but I talked about it on my Instagram a lot. I got microneedling, I wanna say like two or three weeks ago. And she did tell me that there would be times where um, like nothing would really seem to, it wouldn't make that big of a difference immediately, but over time, one day you'll wake up and you'll just notice that your skin looks great. And I did. I literally woke up, I wanna say a couple of days ago, and I realized that my skin looks so good, so smooth, my more my pores are minimized. I do still have this fine line right here, but I've only gotten my microneedling done once, um, and you are supposed to get it done occasionally, a couple of times. So I'll be getting that done, I wanna say every other month, probably for the next couple of months, um, or six months or so. And then interchangeably getting the other months that I don't get it done, probably a hydrofacial. But look guys, look how pretty it is, I mean I got, I would say that's a good medium coverage, if not even full coverage. It is luminous. Um, I don't know if they have a matte version because I don't know much about this foundation. I have never worn this, I will say, for an extended period of time. So today will be the first time where I'm wearing this for a very long time. So I don't know if I'm gonna look shiny or anything, but I did sweat a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot at the gym today and it held up. It was beautiful. I freaking love this. Awesome. So I normally don't do this, but I do have the counterpart to this in the concealer right here. Um, I have mine in the shade Well Rested. I've had this for a very long time. I normally use this every single day just to go over foundation after I set everything down, but I'm gonna go in with it today, see if it does anything to brighten up. Um, I take just like a little tiny bit, go like this, and I'm gonna go right here just to brighten this area. This is a step that you don't need to do because we're going out to eat. I figured why the hell not. I don't think I'm gonna go with bronzer just because I don't think that I need it right now, but I do need blush. So the blush that I'm going to use is my Milani 02 Rose Dora Baked Powder Blush. Um, I've had this again for forever. I just never use it and I don't know why. Go like this, take a good amount. And then apply it. Extra shiny today. 
if you have oily skin, I don't know how this is gonna last on you, to be honest. My skin has been actually a lot more oily than I thought that it's been. And I thought it's just because I live in a very humid climate. You guys hear me say it every single time I film, but I actually have been watching a lot of videos from people who have had plastic surgery done, like Jamie Page Beauty. Um, she had her nose job done. Uh, I want to say like a month ago and she said that her skin has been very oily which makes sense I mean your skin's going through a lot when your body goes through a lot but I did get my breast dog done about five months ago and I, I did notice that it was a lot more oily after that but that was also right before summertime so I don't know what's going into it uh, but we shall see you today all right guys so my base I mean I'm very happy with how my base is looking I don't think that I need to like set it down or anything if you do have oily skin I would recommend maybe setting it down with and I think I have it here somewhere I have like a miniature guy of it, the all-nighter setting spray. Um, actually, you know what? Let's do it. Let's just do it. We're going to set it down. Of course, I choose my video that I'm filming to do a quick, quick five-minute video to do things that I normally don't do. Set that down, and I'm going to move into brows. Uh, we normally don't have time for brows, but I will make a little bit of time today going with my Benefit Precisely My Brow. I have mine. This is a little bit too dark for me, but I have the shade 3.75 just to do my tails. Um, well, not the tails, I'm sorry. This upper portion right here, because I do like a high arch to my brows. Good enough. We are probably not gonna set them down, but if you would like to set your brows down, go for it. And then I'm going to put on, oh, where'd it go? I ran out, I have to go get one either today or next week, so I'll go in probably with a different product. I'm going to go in with my sleek life proof 12 hour wear metallic eyeliner. This is in the shade break and enter one, one, two, four, five, 1245. Um, I normally go in and where is it? I don't know. I normally go in with my Marc Jacobs highlighter, but I am out like literally. Can you guys hear? I have my microphone here. It's clicking. I am out, out, out. Like it's, I can't even, I'm digging into it at this point. Um, so I'm going to tight line with this. I always tight line the top um, lash line because I don't have extensions on and this always makes my lashes look much fuller than what they actually are. I don't know if you guys could tell, you probably can't tell on camera, but in person it absolutely does. I am going to curl my lashes. Fantastic. Oh. I really don't like curling my lashes, but I have to. And then I'm going to go in with my usual mascara, which is the Grande Drama Intense Thickening Mascara with castor oil. And pop the sucker right on. Doing my mascara literally takes the longest amount of time because I like to build it up because um, I don't have many lashes, but the lashes I do have are fairly long and I like to elongate them, but I hate chunky looking lashes. I do normally go in with lower lash mascara. Let's do it. Let's just do like a little bit today. Not much, but just like a little touch, touch, you know, we'll just do the outer portion. I'm sorry. I'm not even showing you guys. This is the worst. I'm just doing the outer portion here. And then normally I would just kind of go in with, I mean, I don't even think that I need to put anything on my lids. Um, this would be fantastic just to kind of get out of the house, go to the gym, go to the store. If you wanted to wear this to work, that's super fine too. Um, I normally like to go pretty glam when I go to work, so I would not wear this to work. Plus, um, with wearing masks, I feel like I would sweat a lot in this. But this is kind of what I've been doing. I normally just throw on a little bit of chapstick. I've recently been using the Laneige, the light, the, the sleeping mask that they have, and I love it. Literally love it. Again, I'll have my favorites going up very soon. Um, but I normally just pop that on for a little bit, and I go right out the door. That's kind of just it. I mean, I could put a little bit of highlight in the inner corners. I'm at my filming wise, I'm at 16 minutes, but I have been talking to you guys a lot. So uh, just keep this in mind. So this is all I have. Um, I hope that you guys did enjoy this tutorial because I love how this turned out. I think it is super cute. Um, it's definitely a good medium coverage, if not even full coverage look. Um, and it's super quick and easy, seven minutes in and out the door and on your way. Again, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Stay tuned for the next video. And until then, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.